there's this kid called Donny Darko. And this aeroplane engine falls through his roof and lands where he's just been, but it's cool, because he's out sleepwalking, as is his habit, engaged in apocalyptic discourse with this freaky six-foot rabbit. You see how Donny, in reality, doesn't have a firm hold. The rabbit teaches him about time travel and wormholes. He burns down Patrick Swayze's house, because the rabbit tells him to. He shags a chick called Gretchen, and the rabbit shows him what to do. Then they have a Halloween party with 80s tunes and beer, and they ride on their bikes through the night and that's when things get weird you see the rabbit's drunk behind the wheel and Gretchen pops a car full so Donny pulls out a gun and shoots a rabbit in the eyeball then he carries his girlfriend's body up the hill above their town and watches as the parallel universe he's been living in tumbles down then he uses telekinesis to rip an engine off a plane and he's sucked back through the wormhole and he's back at the beginning again so when the jet comes through his ceiling he's tucked up in his bed and the rest of the world is safe but Donny Darko's dead. This film's an examination of time and space and psychosis and an excellent example of why they developed myxomatosis. <laughs> <laughs>